Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Bollywood Gossip Talk video. Yeah, still not a great title for it. But we have to live with it right now. <laughs> Maybe if you want to, you can share some kind of like names for this kind of format in the comment section down below. <laughs> so this week, last week, or like the last couple of uh, weeks, <laughs> Lots of things happen and this is the second episode of my kind of gossip series and today we're also going to talk about four different topics that happened recently that I want to share my opinions with you guys and of course you guys can also share your opinion about those topics in the comment section down below and let's not talk too much about nonsense and let's talk about gossip and today we're gonna talk about, at first, about the first topic, which is the Dobara trailer launch. So we're not gonna talk about the whole movie or the trailer itself. Yes, it's a remake again and blah blah blah. I think I'm also gonna check out the trailer with you guys together. I'm gonna do a reaction video, so we'll see when that happens. And then I'm gonna talk with you guys about the movie itself. But what I actually want to talk about is the trailer launch itself, as Ikta Kapoor, one of the producers of this movie was asked about a specific statement that Kangana Ranaut made, which is she called Tapsi Panu, who stars in the movie Dubara, her sasti copy. Okay, Kangana, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Everyone copies you, even I. So Ekta Kapoor had this to say about this statement. <laughs> there is no similarity. There is only one similarity. Both are amazing trailblazer women. And to play them against each other is not your and my job. We're women. We adjust each other's crown, right. not remove it. <laughs> what I really have to say about it is it's like seriously, Kangana. Sometimes she's making some statements and I'm like, what is going on? Like do you need some help or what like i get it like both of them have their flops the hits yes all actors and actresses are some kind of competition but at the same time they're also colleagues so i don't get why there are not only kangana but she's also doing it like openly admitting it publicly uh, bullying others and dragging others down, dragging the industry down and so on, may it be for like good reasons or not, but I just feel like you can have your opinion about specific people, but as you are a public figure, there is some kind of like mannerism, you have to just adapt you know we all know Tapsi and Kangana I don't even think they would work together like in a movie or something because they're always like having those discussions <laughs> on Twitter and so on we all know that but seriously I just feel like about this whole sasti copy like statements just let every woman be I don't even know why there's that much open competition with all those women out there like just let everyone be everyone is perfect the way they are i know this sounds cheesy but it is that way everyone is unperfect in their way everyone has their flaws even kangana has flaws so do admit that bitch but anyways i just feel like it's like really cringe that she's like saying those things sometimes i'm like no she didn't say it she didn't oh she did guys she did and no not supporting that and I just feel like just just stop that you can have like your opinions but why should Tapsi copy her like if she has made her herself a name you have made yourself a name Kangana just stop second topic and this is something earth shattering Disha Patni and Tiger Shroff broke up I know I know they weren't my most favorite show ever <laughs> yes I admit that but they never actually confirmed they were a couple. I mean, we also got the band Ranvia never confirming it, Ranvia and Alia never confirming it. And they're all married now. Or Vikosha and Katrina Kev never confirmed it either. So maybe they do really were a couple. But as it is with Sadat and Kiara, 
They never confirmed it either. I think it's pretty obvious that they're a couple. There were also rumors a couple of months ago that they also have broken up, apparently because Kiara got bored, but now we also saw some kind of airport videos and they're still together. So maybe those rumors aren't true, but apparently also when uh, Disha and Tiger were together, Tiger's father, Jackie Shaw, also kind of confirmed that they're together. They're really close friends. And then also so one day he said, yeah, Tiger's girlfriend, whoops. Okay, thank you, Dad, for confirming that. But anyways, uh, he also confirmed that um, Tyga is like some kind of workaholic. He really focuses more on his work and more on his fitness and physique more than apparently than on his relationship with Disha and that is probably the reason why these two have broken up or even it was Disha who said no Tyga, boom, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> So yeah, we'll see. Uh, if this is really true, time will tell. And what do you guys think about this? Is this earth shattering for you or are you like, yeah, well, okay. Doesn't matter. But if there's another couple who would ever break, break up or get divorced, then my life would be over. And it'll be Deepika and Ranveer. Seriously though, these two, they're made for each other. They're a match made in heaven. Rapne bana di jodi. I just can't. So anyways, now moving on to the next, the third topic for this video. This topic has also something to do with relationships, in fact, with big age gap relationships. And one of those relationships that got confirmed a couple weeks, months ago, I don't even remember uh, so detailed anymore, is the relationship with Sushita Sen and Lalit Modi. I mean, my personal thing is I would never date someone who's like, 15 or 20 years older than me, but we'll see time will tell. Maybe if someone comes along like with lots of money and isn't that bad looking and it has a good sense of humor, then I'd be like, I don't care about the age gap. <laughs> and maybe that's what happened with Sushmita Sen and Lalit Modi too. We never know. And um, maybe some people would call her, I don't know, she's after his money or something, even though she's like a really self-made um, businesswoman too and I really love her personality. I've seen some interviews with her and she made a specific statement that I was like, oh my god, yes, you go. I really, really admire her. And in general, what I have to say about those big like age gap um, relationships, I personally wouldn't do that as I already said. But it's other people's lives and I don't get why so many people, I mean, there can also other people like me be out there who are saying, no, I, I wouldn't do that, I wouldn't date like someone like who's 20 years old or even that much older, 30, I don't care. But I don't get why people, why they're trolling them, like just let them be if they're in love and if he's happy that he's got someone who doesn't see like only beauty who also sees the inside you all know like I'm also someone who can joke around and so on but if someone is like not meaning those jokes uh, in, a, in a like humorous way but is making those jokes to hurt other people's feelings and I'm like no dude I'm out so I feel like yes you can make jokes and so on also that it Modi is like taking it um, also not that seriously I'd say still I think they're kind of hurt a little bit by all those comments these kind of comments still hurt people I'd say but I really also like his humor how he's dealing with that with that post on Instagram and so on and in general I just feel like also with Arjun and Malaika or Priyanka and and Nick or Ranbir and Alia and you know what what I also notice is that um, mostly when women date younger guys so Nick and Priyanka or Malaika and Arjun then these women are like always bashed mother's son most of the time also women are bashed or like with Sushmita and Lalit Modi like Lalit Modi is older but still Sushmita gets um, most of the hate I'd say and they're calling her gold digger or whatsoever like I don't get it just let those people be maybe they really are in love just let them but hey to each in their own so and the last topic for this video is boom Dawn 3 so Dawn 3 has been in the talks for lots of years actually but it has been in the talks for uh, quite some time now is that not only Farhan Akhtar 
is working on the, the script and the story of the movie. He was also in talks with the Russo brothers who were working with Thanos in The Grey Man which apparently isn't a good movie. I need, still need to check it out. Just let me know if I should check it out or not, if it's worth uh, the, the hype and if it's worth watching. I don't want to be like ugh, bored and so on while watching this. And uh, yeah, he was in the talks with the Russo brothers, so maybe they're working with him on Dawn 3 and this could be like a really big international thing going on and I think that this would be a really, really awesome opportunity, especially for Bollywood, you know, no, like going through a crisis and so on. But I feel like 2023 would be that Bollywood year which is getting better. I mean, right now it is getting better with music and so on. So people don't appreciate it, but anyways. And I feel like, especially when Shadow Khan is coming back, that it can be better, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, also about Dawn 3, they're also in the talks of like casting an international star for the villain and just imagine like Shadow Khan and someone like from a Hollywood movie like who okay as the antagonist would be really really awesome so we'll see well, maybe a woman as the villain would also be nice like something that no one would ever expect I'd be in for this so I also can't wait for this movie but I really feel like if this movie releases in, in 10 years in 20 years I don't care just make it be a good movie okay <laughs> just I don't want anyone to rush to things with movies especially right now in Bollywood I just want great scripts and if you can't do those great scripts in the short amount of time then take your time take your time I don't care just make a good script <laughs> so guys that was this new Ballwood gossip news talk video <laughs> still need a better title for this so leave your opinions and also your recommendations for the next upcoming news here under this video also like some title <laughs> title recommendations and that's enough for this video i really really hope you liked it so if you're new to my channel then check out my other videos and my reactions i mostly do ball reactions because ball what is my life and if you haven't done it yet then please follow me on instagram i post everything ball related there and please also check out my uh, ball what edits and also my ball what reactions i put so much blood and sweat into these videos <laughs> don't forget to like share subscribe ring bell so you don't miss anything in the future just if you want to of course i'm not forcing anyone and that's it Hope to see you guys in another reaction or video again. Bye.